Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Jay's Game Room as we continue our playthrough of Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, Alright, we're going to jump right in. Uh, we are at an idolosphere that has just opened up after a massive Mirage attack uh, in Shibuya after Kiria's concert. Uh, and we've also seen that uh, Subasa's sister is still alive, so we're going to run in and uh, see if we can't uh, deal with this idolosphere and all the mirages inside, but uh, also see if we can't track down Subasa's sister and see if we can help in some way. Let's head in here. All right, so this one looks a little different than the other. Uh, again, the dungeon design's pretty cool. The puzzle's usually eh, kind of meh, I mean, uh, all right. Uh, but this one seems to be modeled after uh, a lot of these stores uh, and uh, retail spaces in uh, the Shibuya district a little bit. So, uh, again, it's this great amalgamation of things that uh, really doesn't look specifically like something, but uh, it is what it is. Now let's kind of get our bearings here. わかった。黒目、力を貸してほしい。よっしゃ。俺たちも気合い入れてこうぜ。カイン。おお。誰よりも早く戦場を駆け抜けるぞ。All right, so here we go. We are in the illusory uh, 106 in Shibuya. Uh, oh, we've already got mirages popping up. Uh, let's see, so that lets us out. That's a wall we cannot go through yet. And um, this portal will teleport us uh, throughout the dungeon, if I remember correctly. So uh, let's see what we're dealing with here. Yeah. Okay, so uh, now we've unlocked special performances. So special performances are skills that use the SP gauge located in the upper right of the screen. Special performances can trigger sessions while ignoring affinities, and many have powerful effects unlike any other skills. The SP gauge will fill as you perform actions or connect sessions during a battle. So uh, we've got kind of a, another way to attack now. So let's see what we, we've kind of got to deal with. We've got a new enemy here, uh, Nickel Wise, which is a nice tongue-in-cheek reference to Pennywise, the dancing clown from everybody's favorite city in Maine, Gary. Uh, and then we've got uh, two Caspers. So we know that the Caspers are weak against Zeo. So let's start off with Zeo because uh, that session attack should uh, take things out. Now we've also got an Empty Wave, uh, which is one of those uh, new specials that we've got. So uh, I want to try to save that until we absolutely need it. So let's jump into this. Yeah, it takes one of those down. Alright, so I I know that the Casper is not going to be very effective against my land, so uh, let's see what it does against Nikolai, so not, not effective. Okay, and then what about, so okay, so we know lances don't work, and skewer is not going to really work there. Okay, well, let's not waste any EP. Let's deal a little bit more damage to the Nikolai's. Uh, Tome is back up, so again, let's keep checking away. Well, at least it's a critical hit. Uh, let's deal with that last Casper. Uh, we should be able to take that out pretty quickly. And of course, super effective and launching our session attack. So, just down to the Nikolai's now. And uh, let's continue wearing it down with the basic attack because the lance we know is not going to work. Uh, okay, so let's see if a sword's going to work now that we've got uh, it's. Okay, so he seems to be weak against the sword, so we'll be able to uh, use that going forward. Alright, got some new skills. 
So from the Iron Sword that Krom's currently wielding, we've got Zeo. Now, since we already have Zeo, that's going to add a plus one ability to it. So rather than just wasting uh, the Zeo, that's actually going to improve uh, the strength of it. Yep, that's good. And uh, Kane's got another one, so Sword Blaze uh, Session Skills. So uh, when we launch a Sword Skill, uh, the session that's going to kick off is going to deal fire damage. So that's going to get uh, Toma into some of our session attacks. So healing EP and HP. Uh, HP and EP can be healed with items or skills as well as by using facilities located in the city, such as cafes and vending machines. If you feel that during the investigation of a dungeon has become too much, uh, it is best to not push yourself any further and return to the city. So, uh, as somebody who's played this game before, yes, that is exquisite advice. Uh, oh, we got a treasure chest over here. Let's go check that out. Oops. Oh, ow, ow! Where you come from? Uh, so we're unfortunately going to take that hit. Uh, now we know that uh, Nickel Wise is weak against sword resistance against fire. So glad we didn't try that. But uh, we're going to get that session attack, hopefully. Oh, no, I just used regular attack. Never mind. Don't listen to me. Okay, so uh, what about this guy? The Ironclad uh, Myrmida, Myrmidon. Uh, you know what? Let's see if he is weak against fire. Let's try yeah, fire Uh, nope. Nope. That's not gonna work. Alright, so Tsubasa... You know, let's try just a lance attack. Okay, so he's weak against lances. We can, we can work with that. We can work with that. Alright, Itsuki, you are hurting, buddy. Uh, so we are going to... Okay, who's next? Let me look at the timeline. So, uh... Itsuki's going to act, followed by Toma, then the, the Nickel Wise, then Tsubasa. All right, so I am actually going to try to take out that Nickel Wise and then use Toma to heal. Is that session attack going to be enough? Oh, barely, just enough. We like it. Okay, so then we're going to use an item. Uh, I'm going to use a... You know what? I'm actually going to go for broke. Let's use the energy drink. That'll get him. Get him back on his feet there. All right. Um, so, skewer we know is effective. And that's going to get our session going. And we've got uh, a combo going there. Right, uh, What about swords? Are we can get swords? Not really, but that did some damage. Uh, okay, uh... Toma, let's, let's wrap this up, buddy. And that'll do it. Alright, so we got some level ups, and uh, we got some new items, which again, we'll, we'll use to craft new carnages, which in turn uh, will pass along uh, additional skills. So not bad. Hopefully we don't get uh, jumped like that again. All right, what do we got? Uh, so we got uh, Caspar Force uh, Performa. So again, used in crafting carnages. So not a bad thing. Okay, so here's one puzzle. Right now we, we kind of go up one arm and down the other, uh, and then we'll be able to move the arms later. Yep, so let's go through the sleeve. Go to the other side. And let's see, we got any mirages around? Nope. Okay. Alright, well, what's this? So there are three switches on the control board, uh, which seem to line up with the three mannequins that are there. Uh, so we can do the left switch, which is what the current configuration is the middle switch or the right switch so uh we are on the right hand of that dress so i think the right switch because then we can get up to an upper level there we go
And let's talk to this Mirage here. Oh, so that's it. You can get up by going through the clothes, huh? Gosh, you're amazing. I thought I'd never get up there. Thanks a bundle. See, not all, not all mirages are, are jerks. And uh, what can you see we have here? Uh, life stones, good, those are always helpful. And we will take them. We're, we're fairly well equipped for items uh, since we went to the convenience store. We went to the Heho Mart uh, before we came here. But uh, we always take more. Love fed fat. Soon turns to boredom. Okay, and there's uh, another one that we can adjust it, but Krom is sensing something. Uh, and what those are are uh, more difficult mirages. So uh, there we go. They're called savage enemies. Uh, black and the black enemy symbol before you is called a savage enemy. Your sword attack will not work on it and it will be quite difficult to defeat. Uh, you will only encounter these symbols occasionally, but they are dangerous entities. If you do come into contact with one, it is best to try to escape or deal with them using a special performance. Uh, so I can honestly attest to these uh, from my first playthrough on the Nintendo Wii U version of this game. These are brutal. Uh, these are definitely extremely powerful uh, entities that you'll have to face and uh, the, the best thing here is like look even if I have to go down here and go back up uh, you want to avoid these guys uh, not unless you are very confident in your strategy you've got a lot of abilities uh, that you've worked out and uh, you know you, you, you're you really optimized for a strong fight Oh, oh, did you see that? No! Completely dodged around my sword. Uh, he's too clever. All right, so we've got an Iron Clan, Myrmidon, and uh, Nikolai. So at this point, we know what their weaknesses are. Uh, let's open up against the Nikolai's with Cleave and get that session attack going. Ooh. Okay. okay, and likewise, we know that the Myrmidon is uh, well, he's resistant there. You know, I wonder if uh, poison okay. would work. Poison will work. And of course, that, since that's a lance attack, we're going to get a uh, combo going. And now, of course, we've uh, hit him with the poison status effect. So... When you are afflicted with the status element Poison, you will incur damage at the start of the character's turn. Additionally, if an ally remains afflicted with Poison, he or she will continue to incur the damage following the, the battle with every step taken on the field. So it is best to treat him or her with an item or a skill as soon as possible. But since this is against an enemy mirage... Right, yeah. Let's keep wailing on the Myrmidon since he's got some hit points. And that should do it. And last but certainly not least, we've got the the Nikolai's. But you know, I don't want to... Let's conserve our EP since nothing's going to be effective here. And this should wrap it up. All right, and we got another level for Toma. And we've got more goodies. Or Itsuki, too. Or, or Itsuki got rank one. I'm sorry. Uh, so his stage rank went up. So Itsuki Aoi's soul as an entertainer has achieved a new awakening. Itsuki's inspiration has taken form as a new performa, Leader's Gaze. So let's talk about stage rank. So a cast member's stage rank signifies his or her rank as an entertainer. It will increase the more he or she participates in battle, including performing longer session chains. As their stage rank increases, they will receive various benefits, such as new performa being born from within them. Some may even grant them greater power. So uh, stage rank only makes us stronger. Subasa also getting her first stage rank. 
and her soul as an entertainer has achieved a new awakening. Subasa's inspiration has taken form as a new performa, Comforts of Home. Toma hitting level 6 and getting really screwed on the random stat increase, but that's alright. And let's see what goodies we've got here. Uh, there's another side we can't quite get to yet. Uh, so we got some sh a chakra drop. Chakra drops are always good. Those, of course, replenish our EP. Okay, so now that we're up here, uh, let's change this. There's a medium, like a mid-level and a high level. Let's go down to the mid-level, uh, which is going to be the middle mannequin. Let's do the middle switch. And let's go through. Nothing like climbing through a mannequin in an alternate dimension. Okay, so you'll notice now we seem to be on the other side of that impassable wall from before. Uh, so this is going to let us pass through that other side without having to manipulate the mannequin. Uh, let's grab the item, which is a Dispoison 2. Uh, I think that big spell is poison. Oh, and we've got a mirage that popped up. Oh, you're not getting around me this time. I will take that advantage. All right, so we've got two nickel wises, so this should be a relatively easy fight. Let's go with please. Trying to save my special session till I absolutely need it. All right, there's nothing you've got except maybe. Nope, not even. No, you're weak against poison. Except I'm going to use it on the nickel wise that's got full health. Oh, no, he's not weak against that. I misread that. But he's poisoned, so uh, we will definitely take that advantage that we can get. Uh, Subasa, what have you got? Everyone's health looking all right. You know, since. We've got an opening with an easier fight. Let's get Itsuki back up with the, uh, keep that health nice and polished. And, you know what? Let's skewer. Can we finish him off even though it's not? Yep, that's enough to do it. Uh, and then this should be relatively easy for Itsuki. That'll do it. So, uh, overkill. That was an overkill. So, since the enemy's remaining HP is decreased to zero during a session, an overkill occurred. When an overkill is active, the remaining attacks in that session will ignore the enemy's resist, null, repel, or drain. All right, so uh, the way that we're going to get through here is... Whoa. Oh, we got another Mirage that came up. So oh, here we go. Obstacles and sword attacks. At times, there will be a wall like this one blocking your way inside a dungeon. By attacking the exposed core in the center of the wall with your sword, you can destroy that wall. Note that a wall can only be destroyed from the side where the core is exposed. In addition, some walls can only be destroyed by special means. So let's let's go and whack it. Oh, whoop, wrong button. Wrong button. Yeah. And there we go. So that shattered that wall. Uh, let's see what's on the other side. So here is another mannequin uh, that we didn't see before. Oh, you don't see no And uh, oh, there's a mirage behind us. Okay. Oh, we got two of them. Hey. Ah, well, almost got it. Okay. So we've got a new enemy here. Uh, in addition to the nickel wises, that is a Samantha. I'm going to call her Sadako. Uh, so that is a Samantha, and we don't know her weaknesses yet, uh, but we do know on the nickel wise, and this is going to trigger a session attack, so let's launch into it. Oh, and she's a caster too, so. <laughs> Toba's like, I don't want anything to deal with this. Uh, we're going to try a fire strike. 
Uh, so yeah, she's got ice magic. Luck. Maybe that's a weakness there that we could do. Yep, uh, that's a weakness. Not quite enough to start a session attack, but... Uh, enough to give us a bit of an advantage. Alright, Tsubasa. So, we know that... Okay, so fire she's weak against. We don't know if she's weak against Lance attacks, so... Oops. Oh, denied! That's unfortunate. All right, so come on, Itsuki. Uh, let's wrap this up. Let's get one of those nickel wises off the field. And let's fire strike again. And that's enough to take her out. Awesome. Alright. Um, let's just use a regular attack. Uh, poison? I think poison's good. And let's wrap it up with Cleave. Alright, so that's a new skill from Krom's Iron Sword that we equipped him with. So we are actually learning Dia on Itsuki, which will give us another way to heal. So uh, heals are good, uh, especially in a dungeon. Uh, that should be that should be a book. Heals are good in a dungeon. Uh, okay, so let's cross this new mannequin over to the other side and see what's there. Okay. Uh, oh, we got another. All right. So now we we've cleared that barrier. Uh, oh! 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 No! 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 No. Boy! <laughs> oh, somebody's stuck in here. What are you doing here? Yeah, we, we gotta help him. He's not even a Mirage Master. He's, he's gonna get chewed up in here. Plus, gets us out of that fight from that uh, savage encounter. Alright, so we've got some new people here. Uh, okay, no, we've got three ironclad Myrmidons, which, you know, they're level seven, we're level six. Uh, I think it's time to break out uh, Empty Wave, which is uh, one of my special attacks. Let's see if I can take one of these out. Well, that's a good amount of damage and followed up with a session attack. So good. We, we've already got. Ooh, that hurt. Okay, so we need to get some heals going. Uh, in the meantime, let's see if we can take this guy out. Yeah, that'll give us an overkill. We got some yen. Alright, so I'm actually... Well, since skewer... Okay, after she goes, we're going to have two of them go. So the question is, are we going to be able to endure a couple hits? And Itsuki is the one I'm worried about, plus Tsubasa is weak against those attacks. Um, since it's a three-step session, let's let's gamble. Here. This might bite me in the butt, but yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. We got lucky. We got lucky. We're good. Uh, okay. So Itsuki, then to uh, Toma, then Tsubasa. So. Let's use Zeo plus one. Trigger that session attack. Almost. Okay. Almost. Uh, you know what? It's one less to deal with. I was thinking about maybe letting the status effect kick down on the other part. There we go. 
Okay, now I'm actually going to change it up here. So, Subasa, I know that you can deal some damage there, but uh, we got to get some heals going around. Oh, and of course, you bastard. Go right for Subasa, who is weak against it. And now the, the most injured of the team. Uh, so, fortunately, we're going to get some opportunities to strike uh, before he does again. And hopefully, he gets Tsubasa healed. Again, this is where those session attacks I mentioned on an earlier episode. Uh, this game is about mastering those session attacks. So, let's go with Zio plus one. Okay, yeah, so uh, not quite enough to knock him out, but uh, let's get Tsubasa healed. I don't want to get in a revival situation. Okay, all right. Let's wrap it up. We got it. And that'll do it. So let's see who this guy is that's somehow in a Cydalosphere. Uh, so everyone leveled up. Uh, we got some goodies. The RNG gods are being kind today. Uh, so Toma uh, achieved a new awakening. Uh, Toma's inspiration has taken the form as a new performer, Clear the Way. As well as... Uh, Kane, it's pronounced kind, but uh, Kane learning a new skill, a uh, strength boost, so that's a strength plus two. Uh, on Toma. Awesome. なんとか倒せた。ありがとう、君たち。俺、よく見ると。あなたはもしかして。トーマの知り合い。畑中康久さん。この業界じゃ知らない人はいない。超敏腕プロデューサーだよ。今回のライブの仕掛け人でもあるんだぜ。お会いできて光栄です。畑中さん。名前だけ一
the switch. Since we can get to the other side now, uh, after destroying that wall, uh, we can jump and see where that goes. So, we already look back. Here. Whoa! Hey! Oh, I hit the wrong button. Come on. Yeah. And we keep missing each other. Hey. Oh, and I didn't quite get it in time. That's okay. okay, so we got a Dark Barbarian, which is a new one. Level 9, too. Pretty nasty. And an Ironclad Myrmidon, uh, which is eh, a little less nasty. Uh, okay. So we are starting with Itsuki. Uh, let's go with Zeo plus 1. Try to take out the Myrmidon first. Uh, then we'll focus our efforts on this new guy. Ooh. Yeah, that, that looked like it was going to be painful. Let's go for a poison skewer on the mirror of And get that session attack going. And he is out. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Let's try skewer. All right, so that's not going to do it. Oh, that hurt. And he's weak against it, which makes it even worse. Uh, okay. Uh, what about fire? Let's fire. Nope. Nope. Uh, he didn't resist it, but that's not doing much damage. Damn. Okay, well, I've got Empty Wave as a backup. But let's see what Zio does. Nope. Oh, we are just getting beat. I need to heal. All right, little damage is better than no damage. Well, that's five. Uh, he'll tell about that next round, maybe. Okay, so let's try cleave. We can swords work. Swords are our weakness, and that's going to give us that session attack to take him out pretty quickly. So uh, now when we encounter them, we'll know what their weakness is. And we got some level ups. Ah, the RNG gods are being kind again. But usually if I get like, you know, at least like four points uh, of worth of stat increases, I'm good. All right, did we already go around here? Yes, that's where the blue one was. Uh, so, okay, let's head over here and uh, go up to this number four. More experience is more experience. Uh, especially in this game. Alright, so, okay, we, we know what these are. Um, I think the Samantha is the bigger threat. Oh, there we go. That is a beautiful session attack. Alright, and... Let's cleave, see if we can finish this one off. And that'll do it. Uh, that's just going to deal regular damage, so let's just do a regular attack. Alright, now we should be able to wrap it up. With and that'll do. Oh, another level up and a new skill. See, that's why we stop and we attack things. Not a bad stat increase. And then uh, win thunder on session mm -hmm. skills. So I don't think I've got anyone that has win yet. But that'll help for when we do. Yeah. All right, I'm not going to go jump into a fight with that guy yet. We're going to go up here to the upper level now and see what's up there. Oh, 
아, 뜨거! 어? What's going on? Oh, there she is. ま、てつばさ、一人じゃ危険だ。でも、いつきくん、お姉ちゃんが。落ち着くんだ。焦ってもあやはさんは助けられない。ごめん。あんな姿になったお姉ちゃんを見てたら、キリアさんのこととか、
Good dodge. Now we've just got the uh, iron plaid. So are they both at the same amount of health? So this will at least get us a session attack. Burn through that HP a little bit. Uh, I am out of EP, so I am going to... Let's do... Let's use against the one that has full health. Let's see if we can make that. Alright. Uh, let's see if we can take back. There we go. And then Tsubasa will get that session attack on it, and that should clear it out for us. There we go. And we got a one star prestige, which is good for making carnages, so awesome. Got a new skill. Uh, so we can get Sword and Lunge. So now we can either follow up a Sword Attack in a session with Blaze uh, or Lunge. So good. That more options means more flexibility. And that is the full inheritance for the Iron Spear. We're going to have to make uh, another Carnage. So yeah. If you've inherited all the skills available from a Carnage, then there are no more skills to learn from using it. If you have the opportunity to create new carnages through Unity, it is recommended that you return to the Bloom Palace and craft your new rep weapon rather than persist with the one you've already mastered. Note, be mindful of a carnage's affinities. Do not select a weapon that will put you at a disadvantage in your current area. So again, leaning more toward uh, the strategy of it. And there's our teleport portal and the door. So uh, let's go ahead and check that. And yes, so this, uh, this is a warp portal. Uh, devices called warp portals will appear within a dungeon. Activating multiple warp portals will enable you to teleport to different locations. Note, however, that you cannot teleport to warp portals located in other dungeons. Warp portals will aid you in completing a dungeon, so it is best to activate them whenever you find them. So, there we go. Now we can go back to the, the near the exit, down at the beginning of the dungeon. Uh, and... Uh, I am going to go ahead and... Ooh, get out of that guy's way. Uh, that's probably going to be it for this episode of Jay's Game. We're running a little bit longer than I typically do on these episodes, but uh, we had a lot to cover in this dungeon. Uh, I will see everybody next time on the next episode of Jay's Game Room. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. And have an amazing day. Bye.